Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22 as we continue our Feed My Kids run here on Zalanka. And uh, we are basically right back where I left off of uh, last episode when the game crashed, and I was like, whatever, I gotta replay all this anyway. So I called that episode about a minute early, I think. Uh, but we're back to there, drop, uh, unloading this one, uh, this oats, and uh, hopefully we don't have any more crashes anytime soon, and we'll see. I actually don't know what caused the crash last time. It didn't give me a, you know, sometimes when games crash, you get that little message that pops up. Hey, do you want to send a report and all that kind of stuff? Didn't send anything. Just closed the game. Very strange. Uh, while you're doing that, let me get you continue doing what you're doing. I think we hit 100 before we hit him. Go drop off some straw for the cows. Assuming this thing fits. <laughs> That's the, that is the question, apparently, these days, is none of these things seem to want to fit. You'd think they'd make that trailer hole a little bit bigger. It could also just be... I mean, it is down a little bit, to be fair. But even minus that, it seems like some, quite a few of these are just too tall in general. Alright, this one seems to fit just fine. Well, I'll say just fine. Man, it fits for a minute and then it doesn't. I guess because it's ramping up a little bit. Oh well. Just we're able to drop off straw pretty easily here. Cows have been without straw for a bit, but that's alright. That's that, and we can pull back out again, so... It's a tight fit, but we are able to fit. Oh, by the way, I did add a new beehive. Um, that's about the only thing I think I changed between when I restarted the game. Um, so, we have an extra beehive just, just to get some more honey. Um, you can go... Well, honestly, you don't need to drop off anything, because you, uh... You were not even close to being full yet. So we'll just park you right here, and we'll come back to you. Back to... Straw. So I'll go drop off straw. Well, you know, we could we could gather up some more. Why not? We're closer to the gathering point than we are the drop off point. We might as well just fill back up again and then go drop off at the uh, TMR place. Now, I will need to figure out... Um, I need to get a barn. Although I don't have the money for the barn. I really need to get a barn, though, to kind of have a place to store straw that's for the cows. Bedding. So, I don't know. I'll think about that in a minute. I might be able to just store it in the trailer for now. Maybe, at least for a little bit. Let's go drop this off at the TMR spot. Uh, I guess I can kind of keep the ratios pretty good, right? I don't have to... Like, if I have extra straw, which we might because we have the extra field now, we might be able to do some, uh, I guess, stuff with that. Um, so we need the same amount of straw as we have hay. Okay. So 155,000 liters would be fine for now. And then we do almost twice as much silage. We need almost 300,000 liters of silage. Not quite, but just about. Wow. 
I like how the pal's in there. It's pretty cool. Nice graphical effect. Should get, we'll probably get about 155,000 liters of straw. Although, which does mean we won't have any extra for the cows. I gotta think about that. I need to drop off slurry and stuff, don't I? Yeah, slurry's capped out. Milk's almost capped out. Definitely to get, you do all the things for the cows. I'm going to be about 30,000 liters of oats that we're getting off all this. <clears throat> Which is how much compared to what we've been getting. Uh, I mean, it's not, it's not even as much corn as we have right now. So the oats we're getting right now will actually not... will just barely counteract the corn... That we already have and we're about to harvest more corn trip be told we need to do something with our corn <laughs> we might want to sell just a bunch of corn or something could also turn it into silage uh can we turn the silage in the silage thing chaff yeah we do chaff if we really really wanted to we'd have to lease a uh forage harvester though which is not cheap I mean, we'd probably make enough money off the silage to make it worth it. But again, it's not cheap. We can't just drop corn off directly here, can we? No, we can do sugar beets and potatoes. And straw, of course. Hmm. I need to move the semi. Will we finish this before we got to move it? see something leasing a forge wagon is how much is there even a cheaper version 
forge. I don't think there is a cheaper way to forge, is there? Um, chaff. Oh, there is. We can use a tractor for that. Oh my, that takes a beefy amount of... Wait, is that what you use for it? I've never done forge with a tractor before. I'll be honest. But 374 horsepower is more than we got. I mean, that's a nice beefy thing, but... Hey, hello, Multi... <laughs> oh my goodness! Um, That would be really, really nice for our last phase of this whole thing. Too bad it is way too expensive. I wish this tractor was a one that had a front bit on it too, but again, more expensive than we can afford right now. Um, hmm. It's interesting they call that forage. I don't know if I ever would have called that forage personally. Um, we need... You know, a transport section? I don't know why I've never noticed that. Uh, ch yeah, just the chaff stuff. Hmm. We just don't have a strong enough tractor is the problem. Like, we really don't. So if we're not going to have a strong enough tractor anyway, we might as well just go with one of these things. I need to think about that for a bit. Um, let's go get you dropped off real quick. I don't know what we're going to do. Could also just sell the corn straight up, or we could just dump a bunch of corn. And then do a full round of four oat fields later. If we think we're going to have so much corn that we just don't need anymore. That would not be a terrible idea either. Or three oat fields and one corn, something like that. I honestly thought we'd get a lot more oat than that. I think with the extra honey, the best bet probably is to um, go just heavier on the oats. Whether that's all three fields or all four fields, something like that. I mean, we definitely wouldn't hurt us to have more straw because uh, we're gonna we're gonna have plenty of uses for straw if we uh, do oats. Now, part of the reason why I have more corn is also, though, because we did have three fields of corn, technically. Because this top field had corn on it. So i got to take that into account.
Okay, then. Um, I guess I'll dump all this in for the TMR. And then the last couple of lines, which is not going to be a lot. I'll save that for the cows and see how close that gets us. What we need. If it's not enough, then we'll know for next year. But this right here with the other two loads will get us almost one to one on the hay versus straw. And then we just need to get a bunch of silage. Yeah, we're pretty close. Really is such a small amount of oats. Let's go get this dropped off, which is give us, I mean, before we even put, put any corn in there, we're basically almost one to one on the corn versus oats, which is nice. Cereal should be good to go now. Let me go ahead and get you parked while I'm thinking about it. That is done. You can get parked as well. Let's go pick up the last of the straw, and then we're good to go. Well, then we gotta fix the cows, but... So I guess we're not quite good to go.
How many uh, TMR ready? Uh, not TMR, sorry. Uh, sil uh, silage. I do not. I've already used up all the silage. We do have TMR ready, though, which I do need to drop off for the cows here in a minute. Which is good. I just want to make sure we were not waiting on silage as well. Or the silage wasn't ready and ready to start processing since we have the other two ingredients. We'll get the silage going in October when we mow the last time. My little mod doesn't tell me how much straw they use, does it? No, just food. Spark you here for now. Alrighty, to you. Uh, yeah, we got a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and start with a TMR. Oh, which is on the back. I keep forgetting where the TMR is at. Let's see if we can get this done without getting completely stuck. Apparently I can't, don't know how to back up straight. Okay, that's all we gotta do. Like we're okay.
So we get a little bit of extra money this month because of all the slurry and stuff. That will help. Getting a little bit low. Although we're almost back around to selling products time. realize we don't have a trailer for the manure uh, I was gonna use that other trailer for manure and it is currently full okay so never mind we'll just do manure whenever we get something empty either the straw either the two trailers the straw trailer or the uh, one that's got the oats in it or the TMR in it either one of those will work for the manure I believe I mean, the good thing about the manure is it, it does not fill up. Uh, it takes like millions of liters, so we're not like we're going to get fill up and not get any. Unlike the slurry. Although, to be fair, the slurry, if I wanted to, I could add an extension nearby that would uh, increase how much capacity this thing has if we don't want to drop it off all the time. But, I mean, dropping off, you know, more frequently is helping us with the money, so I'm okay with that. I mean, arguably, we could turn this into a better trailer. Um, so I'm curious. Let me just look for a second. Yeah, we could even go with the 21,000 liters or... I'm sure there's a semi-trailer, right? Probably several. 30,000 liters. Well, that one's actually a spreader, which we don't really need. Is there a semi-trailer that doesn't do spreading? I mean, by default, that's just a... St that's a lot of money. We don't need that much money. These basic ones are going to be fine. Oh, wow. We're over time. All right. I'm going to go ahead and finish up dropping off the slurry. Uh, we'll go ahead and put a cut in there. When we come back, I should have the slurry done. Obviously, straw's done. TMR's done. We're not going to do the manure yet. But yeah, when I come back, we should be ready to fast forward. So I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope we join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.